dark in here but hopefully you guys can hear it this car sounds so good I believe it has a burble tune on it too but there's cat so it doesn't burble too much but I believe it does have a burble too to do like get a rear lowering spring since they put some stock ones on here you know, um, front bumper because the one that they claim was repairable looks like that um yeah kind of annoying but that's what happens when you buy a used car you gotta right all the wrong Previously owned it did well previously worked on it but yeah because the guy who owned it Ty seems to be a very careful person but you know they changed hands a couple times since he owned it so yeah and this is why idiots should not work on cars because there's no way a wheel should be torqued hard enough to break one of the uh, adapters that's really dumb okay so the front came off so I could at least start here. Luckily, uh, I could actually see which uh, I'm not sure what struts these are. And all this stuff needs to get zip tied down. But uh, I guess I could just test and see. Uh, I wonder if this has some type of engraving on it somewhere to see what type of struts these are because I was told there were TC Kleins but I don't know about all that now that there's a lot of inaccuracies but at least I know that the car has six gears. Okay so 15 mil is way too much. The most it probably needs is like five but I mean it's going to camber in and stuff like that and I'm going to roll the fender so it'll work but it definitely doesn't need 15 mil. But uh, just for me to get the thing off and then I'll get like some new spacers and different things like that to actually make it work properly but uh, there's a lot of questionable things on this car and I don't know how it made it a three and a half four hour drive so yeah granted it has I, yeah so it has good things on it but the work is just very very questionable like it, it really scares me what's done to this car or the way it is done so i really have a lot of sorting out to do with this thing but that's why i got it now so i could sort it out so by the time the skyline sells it'll be good to go so uh let's let this thing down and just see where it goes 
Yeah, the fender will easily be able to roll and go over that, but that is quite a stretch. <sighs> but style-wise, it does look good. Um, if anything, I'm going to see if I can try my uh, narrow spacers. I don't know how much they are, how many millimeters they are. They're probably like seven but I'll probably try that, make the wheel suck in a little, and then I'll have to only roll the thing less. But, uh, yeah, kind of disappointed with the work that's done on this thing. It's very, very scary. I'll probably just be updating the stuff that I'm seeing in another video, but for now, I just have to deal with it as is, and then I'll, <sighs> yeah. I may even just tow it to a shop and get all the work done on it at once and just call it a day. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see it, but it does have TC Klein front struts. So that's good because TC Klein front struts are like two grand or something like that. So I'll be some more money when I throw the bags on because I'm really going to need it with this because I really don't trust any of the work that's done on this car. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to need to get some uh, 215 35s for the front. And then I should be all set. Uh, or 20535. Because I'm going to need a bit more stretch. And the ty these tires are too big because it's like when it's at full lock, it's hitting the back back here. I'm probably going to have to do some work back there too. But I'll make it work. It doesn't rub the fence. The, what do you call it? It doesn't wrap, rub the uh, coilovers or anything. So I guess we're good for now. And then I'll try to get the rears off. Okay, so it looks as if I don't need any spacers for the rear. But, uh, yeah. It looks like I have a fuel leak somewhere. I may need a new gas tank, but I'm not sure. I just have to check. But, uh, yeah. A lot of little unexpected things here, but I'm pretty sure it won't be too much to fix. Like, including the supercharger and the two and then everything. I'm pretty sure if I put, like, another six grand into this car... I'll be all set and that won't be bad at all so that's cool because when this is gone that'll be nothing and I'll still have more than enough money to do all my business stuff so yeah I really love the look of these wheels though okay so I just put my Momo comp wheel in here it actually suits the car but I'm gonna go to the OMP wheel once I just take this out but not I'm not gonna take it out to Scotland anytime soon I'm just gonna leave the Momo comp wheel in here it just looks this is this is it chief this is the fuck it but yeah, um, so the rear wheels don't need spacers as far as I know. This wheel is, uh, the tire pressure is low. I probably just have to put some air in it because I don't really see any leaks. And it hasn't gone down anymore, so I'm pretty sure that's fine. Uh, the fronts, it's just going to need rolling. Um, I'm going to see if I could get like a 10 mil spacer. That should probably work a lot better. Um, and then after that, this is all set. And also... I'm pretty sure it was the guy who I got it from, but there are stock springs with lowering perches, which does not work. If you put lowering perches on stock springs, it makes the car higher, hence the gap. So I'm going to grab some uh, lowering springs later today, and hopefully the guy with the front bumper gets back to me because I want to put that on, and I have a front lip in there already, and also um, trying to, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to grab some ABS plastic and make some splitters, so some front, uh, so uh, front lips and side splitters, and then I'm probably going to test out like a rear diffuser until I get one that's like, that I'm actually going to keep on the car, and then after that, I'm going to put like the, uh, what do you call it, the M thingy on, uh, I have to order the carbon fiber roof wing. Uh, I'm going to order some new side skirts because I'm not going to bother taking these off. I'm just going to get some M1s. And then uh, I have to sort out the gas leak because I'm pretty sure the tank just has like a hole from rot, which is annoying. Or the lines. I hope it's lines more than the tank because, yeah. Uh, what else? I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. Cat delete. Uh, probably some headers down the line. 
and then yeah um i may just like depending on what the uh fuel thing needs i may just go to all lines that are good for e85 because the stock lines are fine for e85 but i'd rather just upgrade them then upgrade the brake lines upgrade uh everything i'm getting rid of these seats and the rear seats i'm doing the full custom interior uh what else uh carbon hood carbon trunk i'm gonna install the bags even though i'm getting the lowering springs i don't know why i'm doing it but i'm still just gonna get the I'm gonna get them and i'll just put the bags on whenever but uh yeah i really like the look of the car on the tees and 18s really don't look that big because they're not a three-piece wheel like the uh crons on the black car they look super big but this they don't look that big let me see if i could get some better angles for you guys yeah the skyline's in the way but yeah i really hope the skyline sells soon because it's tax season so people are getting their money and people are going to be buying cars and car parts so yeah whether i have to take the air at air suspension off and get some coilovers or have somebody bring some coilovers yeah and then also actually actually now that i mention coilovers what i may end up doing is buying some coilovers putting them on the car selling the bags and then putting that 2k into a um standalone um front facing manifold and a retune and then make this thing like 400 wheel and i'm pretty sure somebody will want to buy it more with 400 wheel and those things on it and i won't be losing any money because i'll literally just be putting the two grand into that so it'll be like a thousand bucks for the uh um standalone setup 500 for a retune 500 for coilovers two grand and yeah so that's something i've been considering and then using the management from this car on the sky on the e36 and then selling the e36 new management because i may get like 500 bucks more so that means another 500 dollars in my pocket if i do it that way but who knows um anyhow this is going to be the end of the video um i'll get back to you guys in the next one because what i'm going to be doing is um grabbing some parts so i'll put that in the next video installing the parts i'll put that in the next video um i'm gonna try to get some new tires for the front get a fender roll there's a lot to do so that means there's a lot of videos and i just want to give you guys another look at the skyline because this thing is so beautiful like i really should just go back the e36 this week so i could just clap both of these cars out next to each other because this is just wow